This morning at 11 o'clock, I finished a one-to-one -one session with one of my younger clients, a boy, 13 years old. His name is Sean. He lives in Ireland. And I've been working with Sean now for about, it must be only seven weeks, seven or eight weeks, but we had short gaps in between. So I think we've only had about five sessions. But when I met Sean first, his energy, his vibration was very, very low. You could see that he wasn't really in a strong place. He was angry. He was confused. Um, you know, he'd, he'd a lot of challenges going on. And he had a, he was very organised, actually. He arrived at his very first meeting with all of the points that he wanted to go through with me. And you have to remember, we're, we're talking about a 17 year, seven, or a 13-year-old young boy right now. Um, so highly, you know, very bright, very together child, really. So after the fourth session, he asked me so many intriguing questions that most adult men wouldn't ask me. And his father was very involved in the process, sat beside him for the whole period of time, writing down everything that was important. He was the CEO, he, the child was the CEO and the father was the PA. And they just, you could see the connection between them and that this, this particular family just wanted this child to be happy and be contented and be settled. Every single piece of work that I gave that child, he did to the nth degree. He left no stone unturned. He arrived at his appointments promptly and organised. He would go through all of the exercises that I gave him to do every week. And from week one, literally, his growth has been consistent and off the charts. I am so proud of him. It's an honour to know him. This kid is going to achieve so much in his life. He is the only child, the only child ever to have participated in my forgiveness workshop. He did that workshop with his mother. He went and did a list of all of the things that he was harboring resentment for and that he had to forgive. And he went and he did his process of letting go um, in all of the different ways that I suggested that people could do that. He said today, today was our final session, and today he said the roots that were growing in his head that were upsetting him are, have now been released. His heart is lighter, it's softer. He is full of, you know, vitality. He has his vivaciousness back for life. He has a plan, he has a vision, he knows where he's going. He's working on his patience. His communication is really clear. He has done more work in such a short period of time than most people that I'm working with for months and months and months. He was hungry, he was thirsty, he was ready for change and he was 13 years old. And I am so proud of him. And I was actually quite emotional when we ended our call. I got a lovely email off his dad. But he said to me, his dad was encouraging him and he said, um, tell, tell her about your quote, tell her about your quote. He made up a quote and I just said, there's power in this. Let me read it to you. Let me share it with you. He said, at the end of the day, it gets dark. It's up to you to find the batteries for your flashlight. Now, let me just break that down in a 13 year old's mind, okay? In all of the work that we've done and in all of the tools that I have imparted to him and I've given him more than most kids of his age, he knows that challenging times come. It gets dark every day. He knows that the challenging times are coming. And through the tools and through the work, instead of him looking from the outside in, he's now looking from the inside out. He now knows that in order for the light to come and for the good days to come, that he needs to source his own batteries. Nobody can do that for him. His mommy can't do that for him. His daddy can't do that for him. His pals can't do that for him. His community can't, his school can't. He knows now that he is the one that needs to source his batteries for his flashlight so he can see where he's going, so he can make a plan for the future. See this kid, I'm telling you now, he's gonna rock this country. This kid is gonna achieve so much in his now amazing life. He always had an amazing life. He's gonna have a more amazing life now. So I just wanted to share that with you. 
that if you are having a challenging time with a teenager, that there is hope and that there are tools and that there is change and that it's available to you. But I just wanted to tip my head publicly and say that it was an absolute pleasure to work with you, Sean. And I learned from you as well as you learning from me. And I will be looking forward to watching your journey growing up now as a very strong, together, connected young man. And never forget who you are. Always hold on to that and run with that because you will attract organically the exact type of person that you need to have in your life. And if you're pretending to be somebody that you won't, that, that you don't want to be, you'll attract all the wrong people. And uh, I shared a, a story with him this morning about an, an old boss of mine. I've, I've spoken about this before, uh, commenting on the day that I was leaving. I thought he was going to speak about all of these amazing things that I'd achieved in my career. And he spoke about my accent and he spoke about me saying, not being able to say, do you remember? And that I can only ever say, do you remember? And they're the things that people remember. They are the things that will lodge in people's brains because real C is real, okay? People only wanna deal with real people. That's why when I'm on a call with me little pal, Sean, or where, when I'm doing a live stream, or whether I'm doing a one-to-one -one with adults or speaking in businesses, it doesn't matter. This is what you're getting. This is the height of it, lads. And I want you guys to do the same. And I want us to take um, solace and learn from our younger clients, Sean, who is paving the way for all of us. So I wanted to impart that with you today on Friday. Um, it's a great way to end the week. We've had an absolutely spectacular week here in I Am Positive Mindset. And I want you to go out there now and enjoy that beautiful weather that's after coming back to welcome us into the weekend. And I'll catch you on the page later. Take it easy. Slot.